Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the International Subscriber Space Station, the show in which you guys are going to submit different modules for me to dock together. And we're going to start it off with the core, entered by Twilight's favourite Quill, who also happens to be the guy who suggested Test Pilot, and the guy who suggested the International Subscriber Space Station. So that's nice of you, Twilight's favourite kill. You get the honour of being the central part. Let's take a look at your Celestia ISSS core module. 48 parts. Uh, if you guys are going to be submitting your different cores and modules and whatnot I ask for, you're going to have to make sure they're under a certain part limit which is set. Now the submission for the show is working differently to test pilot. There is a Kerbal Space Program forum thread, which is being hosted by Twilight's favorite, uh, Twilight's favorite Quill. Thank you very much for doing this for me. Uh, it takes a lot of time off my hands that I can use for recording videos. It's being hosted by him, he's sorting everything out, and you're going to have to submit just the module itself into that. I will be linking that in the description of the video, and the rules will of course be included in the thread. So, here we have the central module. This looks very nice. And it's also a probe which is pretty good, I like that. Got many 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 docking ports which is nice. It's got these fuel tanks. Are they fuel tanks? No, just placeholders good. It's even got another docking port there. That's that's a battery pack and SAS. And the main crew holder station. Ah, so wait, the, the probe itself can actually be docked to the thing. Ah, uh, that's pretty awesome. That's nice, that provides another angle of attack. This is such a good core, I do love this a lot. Let's work on putting this into an orbit, shall we? Should be fairly simple to do. If we can just put a decoupler on there, and we can work on this. So, there shouldn't be an advanced SAS yet. Um, let's get ourselves a very small adapter. We can put on some advanced SAS. And we'll, I think we'll do our standard, our standard kind of method I'm using for getting things into orbit. It's very tall, but it looks quite solid, so it should hang. It should hang on quite well. Um, in fact, no, you know what? We'll only use a single. I think we're we're only going to need a single for this. There we go. And we can put a another decoupler on there. Some more tanks. This is the standard kind of lifting module you've seen me use over and over, especially in our Space Fleet videos. Right, we'll put some decouplers, get four of these on the sides. I do like this music. As I said previously, the music in the game, it's been added, it's so good. So ridiculously good, in fact. Okay, we'll put that on there. And um, I actually want to start using nose cones. Make things look a bit more snazzy, don't they? I don't know about how bright they are, but uh, pretty good. And why are they in the aero tab anyway? If you build a rocket, if you build a plane and put this on it, then you are absolutely crazy. Right, some struts here and there. And we'll put some struts on the sides, like usual. See if we can't copy this straight over. There we go. And we need our fuel lines, don't we? There we go. Put it right underneath this. Ah, oh, the music stopped. Man, I was enjoying that. There we go. Some more music starting up. That's what we need. Uh, we'll put even more struts on it. I am quite a fan of struts, as you will know. There we go. And there we go. Can never have too many struts. Except when you do have too many. Um, anywhere else this needs to be. I'm not sure. We have only got that connected by a docking port. It might be a wise idea to maybe put some more support. There we go. That's not half bad. Right. This may be almost finished, we'll put on some launch clamps, some launch stability enhancers, of course. Right, we have our... And uh, we need some push-away uh, thrusters. What are these called? Sepatrons. How could I forget? 
Now, because we've got the nose cons on top, we can actually put these dead center and they'll work, I think. There we go. And there we go. Nope, just a bit higher. There we go, that's, that's equal enough, isn't it? Alright, we'll save that and we'll sort out our groups. So, that, uh, the launch lamps release in sync, uh, at the same time as the engines. God, my words are escaping me today. And why won't these things move down? I want to order it. There we go. And the Septrons fire at the same time as the outside engines decouple. Then we have a decoupler. Then we have an engine. Then we have a decoupler. Why do we have a decoupler there? We don't need that. There we go. That's better. Uh, for a probe, we're going to need solar panels. Oh, aren't we? Ah, you forgot about that. Twilight's favourite quill. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, there are solar panels on the side there. I'm not sure if that's enough light. I'd like to put a bit more on there, if you don't mind. Um, just just some of these, if anything. Oh, that's in the way, isn't it, for the most part. We'll just put two there, and we'll put another one around the back. There we go. Just to make sure there's there's enough. I think I think we'll be okay with that. That's looking pretty good. Let's check out action groups that we've been given now. Has he given us any lights? Toggling those lights. Nice. There we go. RCS. Nope. SAS. No. Nope. Brakes. Nope. Aborts. Nope. Custom. We're going to turn off these gimballing engines. Well, turn off the gimbal, not turn off the engine. That would be a bit crazy, wouldn't it? Turn off those, and I think that's all we need. Very nice. Have we got an open solar panels? We've got op turn on lights. We haven't got open solar panels, so we'll do that now. There we are. Toggle panels. Very nice. There we go. And that's all we need, I think. We shall switch back, we'll save, and we shall get this underway. So, on the launch pad, ready to go. Now, a nice touch, I thought, would be to put this station into a geosynchronous orbit, which means that one side of the planet will always be facing it, and um, we'll be able to be directly above one point of land at all times. So, let's launch this, and we'll continue talking in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Lift off. That has got a lot of acceleration. We'll turn off the gimballing there. We can throttle back a bit. I think we can afford to. But yes, geosynchronous altitude, or geostationary altitude, is 2,868,500 uh, meters. So if we aim for 2,868,000 meters, we can just try and maybe do some adjusting later on. But the ship is holding up very good, this module is definitely well built. Thank you again, try, uh, try, no, a try dying to live then, uh, thank you again Twilight's favourite Quill for submitting this. You've been so helpful, I do really appreciate it. And here we go, getting up high, we'll begin our gravity turn. We are turning a bit weirdly which is interesting but it's not a problem. I just need to make sure I actually point the ship in the correct direction. There we go. I don't want to be moving too much when we have to separate those engines. Go on, separate. There we go. Very nice. Now we want to tilt over more because we are dangerously wobbling, certainly. Um, there we go. We're still accelerating, which is nice. We can actually throttle a bit more. Ah. See, those struts disconnect upon getting rid of those outside tanks. Oh god, we are wobbling an awful lot. Yeah, that's not too good. Um, is there anything we can do to decrease wobble? I mean, throttling back might help, but I don't know. I suspect these docking ports are made of pretty stern stuff. And there we go, the wobble's maybe just almost quieted down a little. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, just an annoyance more than anything. Right, so... 2,868,000. It's probably the highest. It is actually going to be the highest uh, station I've ever put in orbit. <laughs> oh god, look at that wobble. That is ridiculous. 
Uh, and our inclination is going to be so wrong. So terrible. I kind of want to eject this stage now. It's getting ridiculous. Okay, throttling back a bit more. Still got ages to burn, so it's okay. Alright, this stage has nearly ran out, and we can eject and burn. There we go, sudden lack of wobble, very nice. Oh, but we do sway a fair amount, so let's turn off gimbal. There we go. Oh, and now we can't control where it's pointing. Damn it, I forgot that probes have hardly any torque of their own. Have we got any RCS on this station? Not that we need it for the core, just wondering. Um, I don't think we have. Oh, well, that's not a problem. Why is this a docking port as well? I guess it, I guess it gives us some leniency, I suppose. Now I'm actually examining it. <laughs> right, making good progress. Very good progress, actually. Just want to tilt all the way over. Make sure we're at least horizontal. There we go, we can switch back to our resources tab because that always fails to show up. There we go. 2,868,000. That's about, what, a third of the way to the moon, moon orbit? Something like that, at least. Right, we can probably risk time acceleration. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. Just two times, mind you. We're not going to go crazy. Alright, nearly there. Actually, take this off so I can be a bit more accurate. Throttle down. Um, of course, as, as we circularize, our orbit isn't exactly going to remain perfect, but you know, geosynchronous doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Okay, we're coming up to it now. Right. 850... 860... 67... 68. There we go. That's almost perfect. That's almost dead on 400 meters. Now we can make sure we circularize at that altitude. That'll be fine, won't it? Climb accelerate. And fuel is doing pretty well. Definitely very well, actually. Um... If only it had some small thrust of it, thrusters of its own, then we'd actually be able to deorbit the uh, the fuel stack and circularize with its own thrusters. But never mind. Um, oh, I should probably use flight planning at this point, shouldn't I? Oh well. Man, we've got. Oh, we can't turn. We can't turn because we're not burning. Go on, come on. Don't these probes have any torque? Okay, slowly. We've got a minute, so we're okay. Oh, <laughs> this is tense. We're just slowly inching our way across. I don't want to burn in case it disrupts everything. Ruins the altitude. Okay, we've got some turning going on. Right. We just have to be patient. We've got 50 seconds. We're okay. Just bringing it over. Okay, we can maybe, certainly to stop this turn we'll have to bring on the engine, we'll just do it very lightly though, should be more than enough, and we lightly on and advance the CS, there we go, not bad at all. Okay, so I'm debating as to where to actually burn, now! I think. Just give us some time. This wants to be 400 or so. Hmm. Keep an eye on the periapsis. Okay, it's coming up quite fast. Just around there we are that's increasing turn the throttle down
There we go. That's 885, 868. Okay, so this side is almost perfect. 885, I'm not sure about that. Um, let's time accelerate and see if it is... Oh, we're on the dark side. Oh, no, it's all right. It'll go night and day, won't it? It'll be fine. We just need to see if we are remaining over the same piece of landmass. And we are, pretty much. There we go. That's very nice, isn't it? I mean, there's slight deviation, but that's okay. Yeah, we've pretty much got that set. 868 and 8... I don't know, 885. That's like 20 kilometers out. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll adjust that slightly. As long as we're pointing in the correct direction. Oh, we probably won't be, will we? Ah, you know what? It's fine. I think it's absolutely fine. We'll do, we can do some adjusting later. I want to... I don't know, I think I'm going to decide what module I'm looking for next. So, if you guys go on the thread that is linked into the description, the next module I'd like submitted for addition to this is some sort of booster. Um, just so we can adjust the orbit gently. It would preferably be just like a column of RCS. So that's RCS fuel and RCS thrusters. So we can... It, it, I mean, it doesn't matter that it's not the thrusters aren't spaced evenly throughout the station, because we'll just be burning forwards, backwards, and turning, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, just a bit of RCS to get up and put on this station. I'll leave the finer details to you guys' imagination. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the International Subscriber Space Station. That is the show where we take viewer-submitted ships and dock them together into one community-made space station. Apparently a geostationary orbit, which is a very nice touch, I think. Thanks again, Twilight, Twilight's favourite Quill, for entering this core station. I doubt this would have been brought out as quickly and I know I took a while in the first place, but I doubt we would have got this series started as quickly if it wasn't for you and your efforts. So, thanks again, and thank you for watching, and I shall see you all next time.